Right, so we've got the hair straighteners. We've put we've put this one on 200. I'm guessing that's 200 degrees. Um, that's like what you cook chips in that. That's hot, hot. There you go, on 200. Can you see that close up? Yeah. And then we have, oh, look at the steam coming off them. Then we have smoky bacon. Now if I had to choose bacon between smoked and unsmoked, it's smoked every single time. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. That's the one. So let's see if it's gonna cook. So let's get our bacon. So we'll start at the bottom, make sure we get all of that bacon in. And we are cooking. Look at that. Can you hear that? Can you hear that sizzle? It's dripping, it's sizzling. That bacon's cooking. That is cooking. Oh yeah. Look at it drip. Let that drip over my bun. Get all that fat, no waste. Right, so I'm gonna do one side with the straighteners, um, which is the thicker side of the bacon. Look at that dripping. Look at that. That's all the fat dripping out of it. This bacon is cooking. So if you're watching it now, and you've never cooked bacon with straighteners before, share the post. So let's cook the bottom of the bacon, you know, the bit where all the fat is. Sizzle, sizzle. There's a little bit uncooked there. Each, each part takes about five seconds to cook. It's not the thickest of bacon, even though it said thick. Um, we cooked almost just the bottom part. Look at that. And the best thing is, if you give this back, the straighteners back to your missus, they'll straighten the hair and you can just sit sniffing the hair. <sighs> Bacon hair. Bacon hair. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to smell a greasy hair. You have bacon hair. Look at that. That is one slice cooked. One slice cooked, you know, fully cooked, no messing about. There's one slice of bacon. Let's get the next slice. Hold this one up and same again. All the juices are coming out the hair strainer. We have the extinguisher on standby just in case. There's a second slice of bacon. Do you think it's cooked? Because it is. You always have to wipe off the bacon. Spot on. If you've never cooked <laughs> bacon using air strainers before, I don't recommend you do it at home. I recommend you watching and sharing this. But it works. Just to let everybody know, it works.